Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and we're gonna have a little fun here today. I went over to two different uh, Chase banks and grabbed some penny boxes. One had $50 worth or $25 worth of pennies in one of those orange bins because they were loose rolls. Customer had brought them in and wrapped them. And the other one I got a brand new box from. Ironically, in the machine wrapped, got a couple of those reverse rolls again. I don't know what's going on. I haven't never saw these and all of a sudden now I'm seeing them. Anyway, I'm gonna have a little fun here because I'm gonna see which box produces better. Customer wrapped or machine wrapped? Now, with that being said, if these are 100 rolls, there's not much, they can't, they can't beat them. But we're gonna keep track of my fines. If it's not 100 rolls, hopefully they just took, up, took their jar out and just jammed them in there and took it to the bank. But I would be curious to see, and I know it's not equal because it's one box versus one box technically. I mean, you could have had a bad one and then a great one, then a great one, and you could have a great one here and then two bads. But at the end of the day, let's have a little fun. We're gonna open the customer wrapped first, and then we're gonna open the machine wrapped. I'll loop you guys in along the way of each of the boxes, and let's see which box is superior, customer wrapped or machine wrapped. Hopefully I don't need two videos for this. Well, let me say it differently. Hopefully I need two videos for this because there's so many finds. But if not, we'll make it a $50 penny hunt. Wish me luck. That's a good sign, guys. If I can hold on to the roll, first roll in and look at this. We got a wheat scent, 56D. First roll in on the customer wraps, and we got a wheat scent. That is a good sign. Fifth roll in, guys, and uh, laid them out. I think I see a, a Canadian here. Ooh, 1959 Youngin. I'll take it, it's a good foreign. Roll number 11 of the customer wrapped. And the irony is, another 56D. Two wheat cents, two 56Ds. Roll 14, guys. Customer wrap rolls, another wheat cent. So I think it's safe to say these weren't searched. Yeah, these definitely weren't searched. It's not, it's a very common coin, but it's a 1919 Philadelphia wheat cent. Holy cow. That's good in a customer wrap roll. So I will take it. Another 1919. Common, like I said, but still a teens weedy. And we'll take teens weedies all day. Roll 28, guys. And I can see it now. <clears throat> Second Canadian of the box. 1964. We'll take it. Same roll as the Canadian. Got our fourth wheat scent. 1947 Philadelphia. It's our second oldest of the box because we got that 1999, 1919 Philadelphia. Roll 31, guys. Got another weedy here. Could be old. Mm, a little better than I thought. 51. We'll take it. We sent number five of the customer wrap rolls. Roll 36, guys. Got our sixth wheat cent of the box. 1952D. We'll take it. That's six wheat cents. And that's about what we've been averaging overall besides some crazy boxes I've had lately. But that's that's not bad. We still got 14 rolls in the box. So we could have a few more. Roll 39. Got our seventh wheat cent. 1955D. We'll take it. Seven Wheaties. Roll 40, guys. We've got a foreign, 2001. 2001 Uraca. So this is a Un Centissimo de Balboa, Republica de Panama. We will take it. I always like the coins with the uh, cool designs, and we like it. Customer wrap rolls are done. A whole bunch of copper, which is typical of customer wrap rolls. We uh, did find quite a few 2009s, 25 of them, three foreigns, two Canadians and a Balboa coin from Panama, 259s, seven wheat cents, 1919 in good shape, 47 Philadelphia, 51 Philadelphia, 52 Denver, 55 Denver, 56 Denver, 
56 Denver. We also found another 1969S. It's not the double dive verse, so we'll keep looking. And three small date 1982D cents to weigh up to see if they're copper, which they're not probably, but we weigh them anyway. Not a bad box for custom wrap rolls. The uh, machine wrap rolls has its work cut out for it. Eight wheat cents will make a record here, but it's going to be hard to beat a 1919. Not really worried about the 2009s. The three foreigns is also a good score too. Now that we finished this box, let's see if this box can now perform the custom wrap rolls. All right, machine wrap rolls. Let's see what you got for me. I was getting nervous, guys. We're on roll number 11. Pulled it out of the box, checking the other end, and look at this. A weed scent ender. Get, starting to get a lot of these lately, which is really cool. So let's get that opened, and look at that. The white rolls are coming up. Weed scent ender. 1956D. We're on the board. Roll 15, guys. Second weed scent of the box. It's got some marking on it. But it's a 46D, and we'll take it. That's weed scent number two. Literally. Let's get back to the hunt. Roll 24, guys. It's been a while, but we finally encountered a weed scent here. And let's take a look at it together. It's worn somewhat. 1945, Philadelphia. We'll take it. So a third of the box, and it's our oldest of the box as well. Only three wheat cents, so it's going to be hard for this box to get uh, five more at this pace. Hopefully it heats up. Roll number 28, guys. Laid them out, and we've got a wheat scent. It's dinged up pretty good. It's just a 58, Philadelphia, but it's our fourth. All right, halfway to tying the other box. Let's keep looking. Same roll, guys. Another wheat scent. 1945 Philadelphia again. We'll take it. That's now five. Starting to make some moves. Roll number 30. Got a wheat penny here. 1939 Philadelphia. We'll take her. Oldest of the box. And wheat scent number six. Roll 32. Got another wheat scent here. Could be old. 47D. We'll take it. More importantly, it's our seventh wheat set now, so only one away from the customer wrapped, and we still got 18 rolls, so we're doing good. All right, same roll. Another wheat scent. 53D. We'll take her. Wheat scent number eight. We tied the customer wrapped with wheat scents, but the oldest one's a 39, and we had a 1919 in the other one, so let's keep looking. Maybe we can make up for that 1919 by finding a few more wheat scents. Roll 36, guys. Got a wheat scent back facing me. It's pretty damaged, so it's going to be hard to tell a year. It could be old, though. Looks like it's a 46S. Yeah, a 46S or a 40S. I think it's a 6. It's too big to be a 0. But 46S. We'll take it. All right, guys. Same roll. Look at this. A 37 Philadelphia. And as I pulled it down, I saw another 46 Philadelphia. That's three wheat cents in that roll. And now that makes 11 for the box. And we still got 14 rolls. All right, doing well. Roll 46, guys. We actually got our first foreign find here. 1972 Canadian. Tough shape, but it's a Canadian nonetheless, and it's our first one to go along with those 11 wheat cents. Haven't found one since, so maybe there'll be a 12th one in here. We'll see. Well, ask and thou shall receive. Same roll as that Canadian towards the back of the roll. Got another wheat cent here. 58D, last year weedy, but you know what? That's 12 wheat cents. All right, guys, finish that box. Ton of, of copper pennies here. A lot of 2018s. We got 18 2009s, so the other box beat that. We got one foreign, the other box beat that. 
We got 559, so we scored better on the 59s. 11 wheat cents versus 8, so we scored more Wheaties, but we had a 1919 on the other box. On the wheat cents, we have a 53D, a 56D, a 58, and a 58D. A 45 Philly, 45 Philly, 46 Denver, 46 San Francisco, 46 Philly. So we made a, a 46 Wheaties set there. 47 Denver, 37 Philly, and a 39 Philly. We also got one pretty nice 1966, an 82D small date uh, to weigh up, and I found one 1969S, not the double dive verse, of course. Let me know what you guys think. 11 wheat cents versus eight is probably a better score, but we get we did get a 1919. Did the customer wraps beat the machine wrapped? It's a toss up for me, hard to tell. Hopefully you enjoyed this hunt with me. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.